Item hash SCP-076. Sai akisti pati te dio musa. Asa object class Keter. What asa abdi yam sa oye. Tskana edayment area 25B is to be located 200M below sea level, tunneled out of solid bedrock in a seismologically stable area. <laughs> Sole access to the containment facility is to be through a vertical elevator shaft, separated every 50, 50 <laughs> meters with a reinforced blast door. Uh, constructed egg of 20 centimeters thick material shielding. Elevator shaft shall be flooded with seawater when not in use. Containment area 25B is to be constructed with the following components. <laughs> An outer security perimeter against outside threats. <laughs> Staffed by security personnel trained in close quarters. Battle and counter intrusion tactics. Hot of the physicity. An administrative and support area, a uh, ESA, consisting of support facilities and living quarters for on-site personnel. A primary containment zone, PC. Consisting of a 7M cube encased in 1.5M of reinforced material. PCZ is to be designed to be flooded and drained as needed. And should remain filled with seawater. Unless access to contents is required. <laughs> a 150, um. <laughs> Killing corridor. <laughs> uh, which is to be the sole access to the PC from the ASA, including water. <laughs> Power drainage. <laughs> And ventilation lines. Yes! The walls and floor of the corridor are to be reinforced in a similar manner to the PCZ with the addition of an electric deterrent system capable of delivering a 20,000 volt shock. <laughs> a security station located. <laughs> At the entrance of the killing corridor is to be staffed with no fewer than three. Three. <laughs> oh, uh, in the ass. Uh, Armed security personnel on watch at any one point in time. <laughs> Armament is to include. <laughs> but not be limited to. And I swim. He got a new system on a pintle mount with a clear line of sight right down the corridor. Was it if with a plexiglass screen to protect the operator from thrown weapons? In the event of a full breach, all on-site staff are to proceed immediately to the closest security station for weapons and armor distribution. Mestroyin do Yahweh stand spurka did they we go we keep and. Staff will remain at alert condition one until SCP Yersosabeoyesek two Asatr is confirmed neutralized. Should ninety minutes pass after declaration of full breach without a stand down order being given by level four or higher personnel, final contingency measures will be activated. Oyekais flooding the entire facility in seawater and sealing off the access shaft for a minimum of 24 hours before retrieval is attempted. This will, by necessity, result in the deaths of all on-site staff. Uh, the description. SCP-076 consists of two components, a stone cube, SCP-076-1, and a humanoid entity contained within, SCP-0762. SCP-00761 is a three-emmet cube made of black, speckled metamorphic stone. All surfaces outside and within.
SDP-0761 are covered in deeply engraved patterns corresponding to no known civilizations. Radioisotope analysis indicates that the object is approximately 10,000, 10,000 years old. A door is located on one side, sealed with a lock 0.5 mm in width, surrounded by 2020 smaller locks in a circular pattern. As of yet, none of the keys have been found. Bien, making the door impossible to lock once closed. Interior temperature is approximately 93 Kelvin and cannot be altered by any means, internal or external. Directly in the center of the room is a 2.13A tall stone coffin, held in place and sealed shut by several chains of unknown Macon substance, which are attached to the inner corners of SCP-0761. SCP-0762 resembles a lean Semitic human male in his late 20s. Hair is black and eyes are gray, skin tone olive. Subject is 1.96 Samoan in height and 8 Osmontons 65 kidos in weight. Numerous tattoos depicting arcane and the cult iconography are present all over the body, mostly in the form of leering demonic faces. Turkey and ranges from subtle to openly ostentatious. So between to us, sorry. Subject, when encased inside SCP-061, is technically dead. However, occasionally, SCP-0762 will awaken, effectively reanimating, complete with all vital processes needed to sustain a living human being. Subject will then attempt to leave SCP-061. If successful, subject will enter a trance state and seek out the nearest human being, ignoring all other living things in the process. Upon coming into contact with living humans, SCP-0762 will enter a rage state in which it attempts to engage and kill all human beings encountered. To date, only the subject's death has been shown to be effective in ending these rampages. Terminating SCP-0762 is often problematic due to its significant physical abilities. Subject has superhuman strength and speed, and although not invulnerable, Saichirudu has shown a remarkable ability to ignore pain and shock, pressing on despite what would be debilitating wounds in normal humans. Prior encounters have shown that SCP-0762 has the ability to, among other things, rip through a reinforced steel security door over the course of 4-4. Uh, uh, minutes of sustained assault. Clear over 64M of distance and under 3, though a 3 seconds. Take multiple 450 caliber BMG rounds to the head and survive for several minutes to continue killing. Despite severe damage to the cerebellum, SWAT handgun and assault rifle caliber bullets out of the air with a length of steel rebar. Survive for over one, one hour deprived of oxygen before finally asphyxiating. SCP Rider 7 Ensis 2's most unusual ability, however, is its ability to apparently materialize bladed weapons out of nowhere. Slow motion video footage reveals that the blades in question are actually pulled from a miniature dimensional rift described as a small hole in space. Where this portal leads is unknown, as is how SCP-0762 is capable of generating said rifts. Footage of the blades in question shows them to be made out of a completely non-reflective black material, appearing as a black void in space. As the blades rapidly vanish after leaving the subject's possession, no structural analysis is possible at this time. SCP-0762 has effectively been killed several times in various manners. Heko says, I've recovered Kure. Sustained fire from multiple heavy caliber machine guns. Jake Beagle, asphyxiation, will say, crushed beneath a 13.6 metric ton piece of elevator equipment for use on SCP-0761. Arida is me, John Furbois, or the go for fotochinic and love per a flap or ever
cremation through the use of a Thermate TH3 grenade placed directly inside SCP-0762's open chest cavity was show up during the worst breach to date. Containment Area 25, which previously housed SCP-076, was forced to detonate on-site warhead as a last attempt to contain SCP-0762 while it was attempting escape, resulting in total destruction of the site and all on-site personnel. SCP-0761 survived upon death. SCP-0762's remains will putrefy rapidly until reduced to dust. SCP-0761 and the coffin within will then slam shut with great force and the lock will rotate, sealing it shut. SCP-0762 will then reform within the coffin, a process taken anywhere. From 6, 6 hours to 25, 25 years? What posthumous analysis of SCP-0762 exists shows that it has an internal system highly different from our own, documented at data explain. I quadruple bonkers stall average Eric Gaultu.